again in about five points. OK, where's, uh, what do you like in the next? I must admit, Darren, I found this probably the, one of the hardest races of the day. There, there is speed, yes, and who is going to get the best run off the speed or do the ones on pace keep going? 593 in my numbers, um, putting Earl of Vass on top. He looked well on the way to the barriers. He was escorted with the clerk of the course and just think that he'll get back. And if he can reproduce his last start performance, he'll be very hard to beat here. Nine, Desire Path. I had the mare on top originally. Uh, I think she can still run a race here with P. Harvey aboard and three thunder love and you mentioned the uh, weight advantage over Lissetta uh, normally that is the case and you would expect it would be here today but um, Lissetta still can run a big race now just a couple of others Darren Miss Condition looked well on the way to the barriers and uh, she is at uh, well, I think she's t tightened up on tote and the other one that you mentioned Fleming Sun he's only got the 53 and he hasn't carried that weight for a long time that might be in his favour he's worth putting into the novelties 593 Mac here in race 3 OK yeah I, I noted the stewards report there last it indicated that he was held up until the 200, but uh, it, it might have only been very, very briefly. Yeah, look, it was, and I thought then once he got out, just going back watching the replay, uh, the ones that had the momentum out wide certainly had his measure, and I don't think he finished the race off that well. The drop back a distance, I think, in his favour. OK. Now they're moving up, coming up into the gates. Thunder Lovin on the tote board at $3.30. Earl of Vass at $4.50. And Desire Path at 4.80 in the betting as well. The setter 5.40 and $8.40 miscondition first up. So they're coming in well. Attendance uh, en masse gathering these runners up. Dark Trist approaching the gates. Misconditions in. Now moving along is Fleming Sun. He's down a bit in the weights there this afternoon. They rejected some pretty handy offers for this horse as a three-year-old when he was flying at the time for former trainer Peter Giedreska. Subsequently, he's been moved on. Stayed in WA though, of course. Now Lucetta comes up, Earl of Vash to join the line. Machino won the previous of the day, home in 33.8. He ran the final 600 in a canter. And now is heading off to the paddock for a well-deserved break. And here comes Desire Path moving in. All set to go. The running of race number three, the Matricon handicap. Over the 1100, lights go on. Now Will of Vasta steady, Desire Path becoming edgy in the stalls. Being held. Ready to go, no, up in the air again. Goes Desire Path, settles racing, oh, Earl of Vass. He went half up in the air as well, and he missed the kick. He's back last, settling down outside of Dark Trist. Lucetta was the first to spring out of the blocks. Thunder Lovin commenced nicely, driving up now on the inside. Soon after the start is Rebel Waltz occupying third place. Followed by Fleming Sun. Dark Trist firing up on the inside, racing very keenly. Then Desire Path and Earl of Vass settling down on the inside, throwing his head about, covered by miscondition. Lucetta, though, settled beautifully at the 600. She leads by three quarters over Thunder Lovin. Rebel Waltz on the fence, pocketed from Fleming Sun. Fourth is trailing up behind Thunder Lovin. In turn, coming around the outside, Desire Path goes up next of all. Earl of Vass trying to push out and stick onto its back from this condition. On the fence in a tightly bunched field, Dark Trist, but Lucetta kicked away at the top of the straight over Thunder Lovin, down to the 250. Thunder Lovin again picks up, but Lucetta's the leader. Lucetta by a half length. Now Thunder Lovin draws level. Here's Fleming Sun, closing it on them both. In the middle, Thunder Lovin. Down the outside, Fleming Sun. Fleming Sun hits the lead. It's Fleming Sun. Fleming Sun's got there narrowly from Thunder Lovin and Desire Path. Close up. On the fence, Lucetta. Right behind them, Rebel Waltz, followed by Miscondition. Earl of Vash didn't get the best of the starts. And Dark Trist is last in. Number seven on the outside, Fleming Sun. Ridden by Joey Azapati. Has claimed Thunder Lovin. He got to Lucetta and uh, then just couldn't match it with Fleming Sun. They've gone to the line. Heads are bobbing. No numbers into the frame, but it appears that Fleming Sun, on the outside, written by Jay Azapati, has grabbed Thunder Love and Ben Kennedy after they'd beaten off 
Lissetta and down the outside Desire Path was closing very quickly late in the race. Stand by for the numbers. Fleming Sun, his uh, first victory in over 700 days, will get the verdict. Number seven, seven Fleming Sun, the Bletchley Park business girl gilding, trained by Ivan Haggerty for AJ Cipriano, K, D and M Jones and C Hamilton, and ridden by Joseph Azapati. Thunder Lovin will be second by Loverdane from Lightning Review. Owned by Adam Durant and Jason Miller. Another minor placing here for the gelding. Trained by Adam Durant, ridden by Ben Kennedy. And third is number nine, Desire Path, by Fal Kirk from Eliza Bell for Andrew Inglis and Karen Fernie. Trained by Lindsay Smith, Paul Harvey in the saddle. The setter, number six, is fourth home. Miscondition finished fifth. 73962, Earl of Vass has run sixth, but uh, went up in the air as the gates virtually opened. And... Uh, didn't get the best of the starts. The winner, 1860, 350. Fleming Sun, 1860, 350. Thunder Love and 120. Desire Path, $1.90. Well, the next is the player online handicap at 230 today. Number nine, Media Alert is out with 18. Auric, two scratchings, nine and 18 from race number four. Well, it's been a while uh, between drinks for Fleming Sun, former very good three year old. He's had uh, an ownership change, a stable change, and it's his first win for New Connections and also trainer Ivan Haggerty. Here's Wes Cameron. Thank you, Darren. Uh, with Ivan right now following the victory of Fleming Sun. Ivan, I think the one thing that uh, I suppose putters could have warmed to with Fleming Sun today was the fact that 53 kilos, he hasn't carried that weight for a long period of time. No, that's right. And that's why I was, I was pretty keen to get a lightweight on him, he, um, and he did, he rode him perfect, glad, glad we put him on, yeah. He had him in a lovely position, he began well, Fleming Sun, fourth, one out, one back the entire, just on the home corner, he went a little bit wide, but uh, gee, certainly had the momentum late. Yeah, I think he, um, it probably was to an advantage, you just let him run through the turn a bit, and he, um, and he went really well to the line. Last time out, I went back and watched the replay again uh, a few times over, he just didn't seem to finish the race off over the 1,200 last start, and I suppose the drop back to 1,000 today was in his favour. Uh, possibly. It was because um, he hit himself last start. Yeah, he, when, he, yeah. when he had to change direction, he was climbing all on them, and then when he changed direction, he couldn't go. And So whether he just got a bit off rhythm, out of balance, but he... Um, he so I've just backed off his work over the last 10 days and freshened him a little bit, and then he's... Got to the line beautifully. Good to see him back in winning form and uh, good victory against some pretty uh, pretty noted speedsters. Yeah, some good horses there. So I was happy to see him in the spot he was in during the race and then run on like that. Very happy with him. What did you make of the run of Grey Monarch in the previous? Oh, okay.